Okay, this video is to demonstrate how to add color or an antiquing effect to your repoussé on your foil, your art here. So I have Sharpies, a paper towel, and a little cup and some rubbing alcohol. 100% would be better, but this is what they had at the dollar store, so I'm using 50% alcohol. You only need about a half teaspoon of alcohol, just a little bit. And the idea here is to only put enough color so that it's going to stick into the cracks and crevices to highlight the texture the actual texture that you have created on your repoussé artwork. So on this copper side here, I'm gonna demonstrate how to just make it look old and um, like oxified, oxidized I mean, just using a black Sharpie. So let me zoom in here a little bit. In this process, I need to get my paper towel a little bit wet with the alcohol, not dripping, just damp and have it ready to go. And I'm gonna go, go a little bit at a time because if I go too much and then try to wipe it off, it's, not, it's gonna dry on there. I need to try and wipe it while the Sharpie is still wet. So I'm gonna go along my edges a little bit and then wipe. And it might wipe off some of my copper coating and show some of the um, silver underneath but that's okay. And that's what it's doing. But I kind of like the look. And if you work while the, if you try and draw where the alcohol is wet, it won't draw. So you gotta kind of move on and come back to it later. See, now I've got wet alcohol on my marker. So it doesn't want to work anymore. So I'm going to let that dry a little bit and I'm going to show you the color side. Now I've got some colored Sharpies. I could do the black on this side too, um, but I'm going to show you colored. The color shows up better on the silver side. So one option is to just color it in straight up and leave it nice and saturated like that. But if you want to have that kind of distressed look, which really highlights the texture here. You can do the same thing by wiping some away. See that? You can also blend colors really well doing that. So I could get a little bit of blue and blend it into my pink. And I can kind of mix colors this way and make like purples. So the blending works a lot better here on the silver side. And your colors show up stronger on the silver side too. And even if you let them dry on the silver side, you can still go back and kind of wipe some of it off. So I want to show you what this looks like when it's finished, it's just a process going back and forth with Sharpie and alcohol, wiping off, putting it back on. And I'm gonna pause this for a second and show you what it looks like when it's all done. Here's one that's finished. You can see that my flame is kind of blending from orange to yellow. And it's really highlighting the texture that I put on my cross and my crown of thorns. And then here on my red, I let it dry and then I wiped off some of it with alcohol, with kind of like less alcohol on my rag, and it gives you kind of a scratchy effect. And then I'll show you the other side of this. You only have to do one side. I did two for the demo. Here is the Distress, just using black, and it looks kind of old and antique -y. And you can see some of that silver showing through, just like what was happening in my example, when it was kind of rubbing off and showing some of the silver, I could just go back and add some black back into there and I end up with an effect like this. So that's how to use Sharpies and rubbing alcohol to achieve color or a distressed effect on your repoussé.